From the snares of the enemy In the midst of my storm You held and protected me If I just keep my mind, my mind on thee yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll keep me in a perfect peace oh, yes. In perfect peace with our back against the wall and can't go forward and all we can do is look up and we realize that he is our peace if you're trying to find peace in things of this world if you're trying to find peace in what you have if you're trying to find peace in who you know I want to put you on notice that all this will pass away. But Christ gives us a peace that passes all understanding. Yeah. It means the fact that I don't understand when I'm going through a storm that I can still have joy. Yeah. I don't understand when I'm at my wit's end that I can still have joy. Yeah, he, so he, he gives us. And, and that's why don't, don't try to figure out God's goodness. Just just rejoice in it and, and be glad. Yeah, yeah. Be glad that 
He got his eyes on you. Be, be glad that he's still holding you in the hollow of his hand. Be glad that we are still on this side of the Jordan. Yes, we'll be on our way to cross over Jordan, but in the meantime, hadn't gotten there yet. So I got to rejoice in his peace. I don't understand why. I, I still can't figure out how, yeah, yeah, a brown cow can give white milk. I, I don't understand how he can eat green grass and still give. I don't understand. I, I don't understand how the sun rises and sets every day on time. But all I know that there's a peace that passes all understanding. And I made up my mind. I'm getting this sermon. I made up my mind. I'm going to worship him. I, I made up my mind. You can't stop me now. I made up my mind. You, you can't make me doubt it. He's done. Yeah, yeah, I know too much. To bow down. Oh God, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Psalm 24. Verses 1 through 6. Psalm 24. I know it's a little chilly on the outside, but you ought to have a warmness on, on the inside. Psalm 24, verses 1 through 6. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully? He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him who seek your face. Amen. For a few moments, I want to see him. I want to see him. The background of the psalm or him is that it, it was not one that was sung by everybody. This was not a song that was sung by non-worshippers. The qualification to recite and sing the psalm was that you had to be a worshiper and not a motionless one, but one that would make the accent, that would make the climb to the temple, traveling over rough territory over cliff sides and mountain sides, and then enter into the worship atmosphere. This, the psalmist is trying to help us understand that worship is more than just clapping your hands and singing your songs. People in the world can clap their hands. Yeah, people in the world can sing songs, uh, but there has to be a desire uh, by those who would worship God to not offer to him that that is detached from God. Our praise is to be offered to God and not to anybody else in the room. The song is all about God. And uh, Eric, I, I'm not trying to start anything, but before I move on, it might be, you need to be careful when you talk about dedicating a song to somebody. 
Because every song we sing is to worship God. Now maybe we might can do one in remembrance or on behalf of, but basically every song, every word ought to be dedicated to the Lord. I believe we can learn something about worship in this text. First, you have to decide whose side you're on. As the people of God, whom the psalmist refers to as Jacob, which is the people of Israel. He identifies them as a generation. These are the ones who seek after God, who desire to ascend into the hill of the Lord, who really want to stand in his holy place, and who really want to seek his face. The, the, this is not just about the choir. Yeah, it, it's all about those who claim to love God. Now, what, what, what's interesting about this text is that Israel was identified as a generation. They, they, they were seen walking up the narrow trails up to the temple. They were seen standing in the holy place of the Lord. But, but I want to suggest that there is a difference between being at church and being in church. That, that, that there's a, 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 a difference between hanging around at church and being a part of the church. That, that, that there's a, a difference between praising God because you know him and showing off to impress other people. Listen, my, my worship is not for public approval. When I come on Sunday morning, I'm not coming for you to critique or give, or give approval of my worship. I don't want to get happy here too soon here, but it, 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 it's not about pleasing anybody in this place. Hmm. Worship, wor 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 worship, wor wor worship is all about God. You, you see in verse three, the question is raised, who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? And it's suggested that the priest answer in verse four. He says, he who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lift up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. M my, my worship, look here, is therefore dependent upon what I do before I get to church. But my worship is also affected by what I do while I'm here. The Lord has been preparing you for a testimony since we left last Sunday. You've been through some stuff. And all the Lord was trying to do was to position you so you won't worry, so you won't fret. Yeah, so, so you won't complain. But he was positioning you for this very moment so you can come in here and worship him and realize once again how awesome he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, and, and, and then after I get here, don't act like you ain't been through nothing. I can't help how dressed up you are. If I were talking to you on 101, somebody in the crowd will come. I've been to hell and back once again. And what gets you is, it seems like I, I, I have to go back to hell every once in a while. But the Lord, the Lord, he, he blesses me. He allows me to endure. Therefore, when I get here, Somebody say, enter his house, enter in the house with thanksgiving. 
You got to come in here. Just thinking about. But no, 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 no. Just reflecting on your past week. Oh, yeah. I'm not the only one where things, things didn't go every way I wanted to go. But I got to tell you, I, don't have, I have no complaint. Because the Lord does what he do best. And that is have his own will. And his own way. I'm really getting longer than I want to be. But it's hard to worship God with dirty hands. It's hard to worship God with a contaminated heart. It's hard to worship God when you're stuck on yourself. It's hard to worship God when you can't keep your word even to God. I tell you, I tell you, worship is serious to God. Yeah. Worship is the expression of the creation to the creator. Worship is earthly complement to heavenly perfection. Worship is from the heart of man and it reaches the heart of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, worship shouldn't begin here. The process is that you've been preparing for worship all week long. The, the, the worship didn't start in the sanctuary. It started in the street. Yeah, remember, they, they walked to worship and worship while they walked. Yeah, let, let me pause. I remember when I went to West Africa and when you stand and preach, they don't want to hear no 30 minute sermon. Matter of fact, oh, yeah, that's why we had the tag team. They come for at least two hours. Why? Because many of them walked seven miles that morning to come to worship. But oh yeah, 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 I seen them. They, 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 got, they got ready for worship while they were walking on their way. Here, here in this text, they, they carried the Ark of the Covenant and they worship while they walk. You might leave the house with your problems, your troubles, but you can still worship while you walk. That's what the adversary, the, the devil, can't understand. You see, I, I know some people who, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I know some friends who, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I, 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 I know some relatives who, I, I, I'm sorry, I know me, and sometimes I, I come to worship God weary, wounded, and sad, and messed up, chewed up. And in spite of what may be going on in my life, I choose to worship God. Choose. Got a made up mind. Yeah, I, I, I came with the intention to worship God. Well, I wish I had some people in here who could testify that there were some Sundays. You have had your burdens too. But he didn't say your burdens disqualified you from your worship. Secondly, yeah, you have to decide to seek him. Young folks, I'm talking to you too. You have to decide to seek him. David says that Jacob, which is Israel, is a group of worshipers. And not only are they worshipers, but they are also a generation of 
peoples who seek him. The word for seek in Hebrew literally means to walk where they walk. Hang out where they hang out. And be where they are at. When it comes to the Lord, you have to want to be where he walks. Hang out where he hangs out. And to be where he's at. And I know some folk may figure out a loophole and say, you know the Lord is everywhere. And you're right. Some say the eyes of the Lord are everywhere. And you're right. Some say he sits high and looks low. And you're right. What the psalmist is saying that you have to not just be in the presence of the Lord, you've got to want to be in the presence of the Lord. Yeah, yeah I, I, I believe that God, here it is, God doesn't want us to be in worship for the sake of checking in. See, when you check in, you check in watching the clock. When you check in, all day long you're watching the clock. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. God don't want us to, to come in because mama and them used to come off. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he wants us to be here because we won't. Good God Almighty. Because we want to be here. I, I can't talk to you, but since I got the mic, yeah, I, I, I want to be here to tell him thank you. I want to be here because he's here in my body. I want to be here because he's worthy. Hmm. To be praised. I, I want to be here because once again, I, I, yeah, I could have died in a car accident. I, I looked at my odometer this week. I did 954 miles since Sunday. Anything could have happened but the law. So I want to be here. Being in his presence also means that he dictates. He determines what happens here in this worship service. Not me, not the deacons, not the ushers. We have an order of worship in our bulletin. And it's simply a guide, but not a rule. In other words, if the Holy Spirit wants to Come in and heal somebody. He can do it. If the Holy Spirit wants to flip things around, he can do it. If the Holy Spirit wants to give over and over and over, he can do it. If you want to run and it's him, do it. If you want to shout and it's him, do it. If you want to say amen, and it's him, do it. But the key is thus. Don't do what he never told you to do. That, 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 that's why, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I never walk out of worship service before the, the benediction. You don't know what the law is going to do. First point, you have to decide whose side yes, sir. you own. Right. Second point, you have to decide to seek him. Yeah. Lastly, you have to decide to seek his face. David almost lost me on this third turn. I'm with him. I, I'm a part of that generation that is with 
the Lord. I'm with him. I, I'm a part of the crowd that wants to be in his presence. But David then says, not only is there a crowd of worshipers, and not only do they seek his presence, lastly, he says, seek his face. Now, in Hebrew, the words seek in verse 6 are not the same. When he says those who seek him, that's short range goal. When he says who seek your face, that's long range goal in my worship of God. Now, my Long range goal is not the same thing as my short range goal with the Lord. My short range goal is to praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noonday. Praise him when the sun goes down. My short range goal is to live for him day by day. My short range goal is to strive to be better this year than I was last year. But I have a long range goal. That's what David is saying. My long range goal will never be honored while I'm alive on earth. My long range goal is to see the very face of God. I can't see him now because I'm in flesh that can't handle it. Remember Moses? He saw the backside of the Lord and it changed his appearance. We couldn't handle that much glory. That's why when the spirit of the Lord moves in the church, that's not his complete glory is only a small piece of his glory. But oh, I got some good news. If I'm blessed, mm, and let me, before I complete that statement, if I'm blessed, I wonder, is there anybody in this place can testify that yes, mm, you are blessed. You may not have everything <laughs> You think you ought to have. You may not be in life where you ought to be. But I wonder, can you testify that yes, mm, I'm blessed. Well, now that we've agreed that yes, we are a blessed people. If I'm, yeah, this blessed mm, by a small piece of his glory. Good God Almighty, I'm looking forward to experiencing his full glory. When I'm in a glorified body that can handle it. When I'm in a glorified body that can bow down every time I hear the name of Jesus. There is nothing more than a small preview of greater coming attraction. I love how the movie theater does it. They'll advertise on television. They'll give you clips of what's to come. I come by to tell you, if what the Lord has been giving us is simply clips, I can't wait to enjoy all of his blessing. I can't wait to enjoy all that he has in store for me. And uh, yeah, I'm working so I can see Jesus. I'm praying uh, so I can see Jesus. I'm preaching so I can see Jesus. I gave my life to him to see Jesus. If the Lord tarries in order to reach my goal, I'm going to have to close my eyes to never open them again on these old crusty shores. I'm going to have to lay down and die in order, yeah, to experience that kind of glory. At the end of verse 6, the psalmist said, Selah, 
Remember I told you that's a part, yeah, in the thing where everything stops. You pause and reflect on what has been said. Well, see now, as I reflect on what is captured in these verses. When I think about my worship to God, I sort of give myself, yeah, an interview. Yeah, Lord, when I come to worship, am I giving the Lord my A game? Or am I just playing around? When I come to worship, am I giving the Lord all that I have? I come by to tell you, when you think about what the Lord has done, when you think about all that the Lord is doing, I tell you, it will make you stop and think what a mighty God we serve. If you stop, yeah, and think, it'll make you realize this joy that I had. The world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it away. When I stop and pause and think about the goodness of the law, it make me realize I could have been, yeah, Lord, on my bed of affliction, I could have been sleeping in a grave when I think about how the Lord had just now started keeping me. When I think about the Lord had just now started looking after me, I wonder is there anybody in this place? Realizing that the Lord had just now started blessing you. And you ought to be able to testify. If he blessed me once, he'll bless me twice. If he blessed me twice, he'll bless me three times, four times, five times. I wonder if anybody can say yes, yes, yes. He keep on blessing me. And when I think about my worship, I can testify, yeah, Lord, that my worship is for real. It's real because I worship the true and living God. Yes, I do. I believe that he was born of a virgin named Mary. I believe that he fed thousands upon thousands. I believe that he was baptized in the Jordan. I believe that he raised the dead. I believe that he healed the sick. I believe that they whipped him all night one night i believe that on that friday morning they had him to bear his own cross up a hill called calvary i believe he died he died oh he died yes he died i believe he stayed in the grave all friday night he stayed in the grave all day saturday and all day saturday night i heard somebody say it wasn't saturday night it was saturday night whatever night it was i'm so glad he stayed there but early early Early, ah, early uh, Sunday morning, he got up. Yes, I believe in Jesus. I believe he will make a way for you. I wonder, is there anybody? in here looking for the Lord to make a way once again in your life. I dare you to believe that he will believe that he will believe that he will believe oh, that the Lord he will yeah yeah he will 
make a way. I'm not telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I know. The long keeps on making away from me. I got a feeling that somebody else in here say yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. He keeps on making a way from me. I come by to tell you, ain't no dead in street with Jesus. When it looks like it's a dead end, keep on pressing forward. When it looks like you're at your wit's end, keep on pressing forward. When it looks like the doctor is shaking his head, keep on pressing on. When folks leave you by yourself, keep on pressing on. And when you get there, you will see a detour. You will see a detour sign. You go left or go right. I come by to tell you, whatever the Lord tells you to do, you do it. And I believe that when this life is over, I am going to see Jesus. Yeah, Lord. That's why I preach. That's why I pray. Oh, I want to see Jesus. Yes, I do. I want to see him for myself. I've heard the saints say, if you get there before I do, whatever you do, don't crown him until I get there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want I want to see him and when I get there I've told you before yeah I want to see Jesus when I get there I'm not going to tell him how you know we love to, to tell on folks uh, we love to talk about how folks do uh, but oh when I see Jesus I don't want to tell him about uh, how I've been buked in school because he already knows I don't want to tell Jesus about all of my troubles uh, he already knows I don't want to tell him about all of my struggles uh, he already knows I don't want to tell him about the ditches that were dug for me he already knows I don't want to tell him about the stabs in the back he already knows I don't want to tell him the days I was sick he already knows I don't want to tell him there were times that I didn't want to come he already knows when I see him to his face I want to thank him thank him thank you Lord thank you thank you ah! thank you Lord thank you Lord for saving my soul no salvation no seeing Jesus yes yes oh yeah I'm so glad I've been born yet filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, yeah, I will see Jesus. I will see him for myself. Uh, yes, I will. I'm about to leave you now. But I wonder, hello, is there anybody in here that won't mm, to see Jesus? I understand that. I'm not going to get it. Uh, everybody to participate it's like the joke that was told yeah if you're going to heaven the train was leaving this evening well yeah you are ready to go but you don't want to catch it this evening well I come by to tell you hey Lord when that time comes uh, I will wonder can you say yes I want to see Jesus yes Lord I want to see him for myself and when I see Jesus Jesus, I got a feeling I'm going to see some family members. When I see him, I believe I'm going to see some folks on Mount Prospect. When I see Jesus, when I see Jesus, notice now, I didn't say if. 
oh no, there's some things you ought to be sure about, uh, and I'm sure about my salvation. When I, when I see Jesus, when, when, oh when, 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 I wonder, do I have any when folks up in this place? I wonder, do I have any when testifier? I wonder, do I have any when believer? When I see Jesus, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I won't. See Jesus. It's gonna make it all worthwhile. That's why you ought to be able to take a hit and a lick, a punch, because after a while, it'll be all worth it. Don't get so quick to get discouraged when the clouds start hanging low. Just know that the Lord is setting up some detours for you. Yeah, yeah, and just walk in his word. Walk, walk by faith. Trust him and know that he didn't bring you this far to leave you by yourself. God bless you. God keep you. I won't. Matter of fact, if I can just, 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 just touch him. Matter of fact, if it's even possible, I want to see the nail print. Birthmarks don't normally fade away scars in his hand represents our birth. I just want to just touch and if you let me just feel his side. But, but I, I got to feel it, but just, just seeing him would be enough. Couldn't even imagine all that happen on earth and now to see the glory that he has in store. I want to encourage you. You keep pressing on. You got to keep holding on to God's unchanging hand. And understand now that our Clocks, time is different than God's. But I believe I got some witness like that. No matter when he comes, he's never late. He's always on time. In my mind, I want to say that he was late because you know how we want it when we want it. But when he shows up, thank God, he's always on time. God bless you. Maybe there's somebody here you too want to see him. In order to see him, you have to know him as your personal Lord and Savior. See, there are folks who want a Savior, but not a Lord. Yes, he saves my soul, but Lord means he has authority over my life. Because he's like, I can no longer have it my way. Lord, your will be done. Maybe there's somebody here looking for a church home and the Lord has touched your heart that this is the place. Come as I can there for baptism, Christian experience, all by letter. However, the Holy Spirit leads you. We invite you to come now while I have this opportunity.